Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today I'm going to be opening up some fan mail and doing a munch pack with Grandpa at the end of the video. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I've got a couple of letters down here, and these came in the other day, and I was pretty excited about getting these. Um, so right now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six little letters, and this one actually is kind of like bumped up a bit, so there, I think there's something inside of here. So that'll be kind of fun to see what's in there. Um, but yeah, let's actually leave that one for a bit, so that way we can kind of like see what it is. But um, let's get into this one here. So this one's coming all the way from the UK. It's by Royal Airmail. Nice. And this one does say open up on camera on the back there. And um, yeah, let's just get right into this. Um, yeah, so I know uh, we've been getting a lot of letters right lately and we are on our fourth binder full of letters. And if you guys ever want to send a letter or a fan art or something like that, you know, just kind of something small or big, I don't know, whatever you guys want, you know, just send it to the P.O. box. It's always fun to open it up and everything and then you guys get to see your stuff on camera. Ooh, there's some cool stuff here. Look at this one. Okay, um, I'm going to read the letter first, and then I'll show you the art. I think that's cool. Uh, let's see what we got here. Um, Hi, Top Pops. My name is Oscar. Sorry for bad handwriting. I have 14 Pops, and you made me collect Funko Pops. You're my favorite YouTuber and are awesome. Also, please read on camera. Also, here's a good video idea. You should make you as a Funko Pop. Well, we did get one in the fan mail a little while ago, which was me. I think it does look really good, and we've gotten actually two so far, so... That's actually kind of cool. Um, question, when did you start collecting? Uh, 2014 on my birthday, July 13th. Uh, what is your favorite Funko Pop? Maybe Indiana Jones? Um, favorite YouTuber? At the moment, probably David Dobrik, I think. Uh, can't be yourself. Oh, sorry. Uh, what's your favorite Dorb? The one that I have, my favorite Dorb, I got one recently, didn't I? Um, it was the uh, Batman... No, well, that, that's not my favorite, though. Um, I got the Batman uh, Professor Radium one recently, but I'd say my favorite is my 6-inch Batman uh, Dorb. Uh, favorite pint-sized hero? I don't really know for pint-sized heroes. I don't collect them too much, but if I were to pick, maybe Dragon Zord from uh, Power Rangers. And then it's got in here, guys, Tristan Pop Chase, and then it says, show on camera, Instagram, at David Bates. Uh, here it is there, guys. And then my YouTube. Here you go, guys. I'm just going to show you everything because he said to show it. There you go, guys, if you guys want to go check them out. Um, so, thank you so much for this. Now, I am going to show you the little art that he sent here, which is actually really good. Um, here's one of them, guys. This is Deadpool. I might even use this for the fan mail binder on the outside of it if it fits. You know, I've got the one on the front and one on the back. I'll probably put these at the one on the back, because I do really like this Deadpool one. And then here, guys, is this one here. That's really cool, too. These look awesome. Thank you so much for this. Um, but let's move on to the next one here. I think that we're good. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on to the next one here, guys. Um, this next one is coming in from... Ooh. Uh, oh, it says Niagara Falls, New York for both of them. So I mean, I don't know where it's from. Look, guys, if, if you guys know what I mean. Wait, Minneapolis. There we go. Haha. Hey, it's got a little Mickey Mouse sticker on the back there. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so... I want to get into this without ruining the stickers at all, because, you know, it's fun to keep stickers. There we go. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of where the farthest letter was from, just for something to talk about in between me opening letters. Uh, anyways, we'll get back to it next time I have to open the letter. Okay, so this one's coming in from Minnesota. I think it's from there. Like, that's what it makes sense, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so this one says... Hearty hello to Top Pops. Well, uh, welcome wishes to you. Here and here we are the good. The cold winter months are behind us. Um, what is good book for to read? I've gotten a letter from this guy before. I know his English isn't great, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and read it as best as possible. Uh, the sleep is awesome when the rain and the thunder. Sometimes the owls are visiting me at the nights. They are wanting the milk, but the milk is not ready, and they... For the milk is not ready. What is the best uh, smart uh, smartwatch, and does it um, have a heart rate monitor? I would say smartwatch, because you're asking. Um, maybe an Apple Watch. Those ones are pretty good, and they do have a heart rate monitor on there. Uh, take deep breath, smile, stay mighty, be still. Um, Amig, and then it says uh, some more song recommendations down there, which we actually did use that for the. Um, we did use that for. Um, 
the, a video, actually the video that we did. And I'm going to show you everything on here. It's actually a pretty creative letter, I'm not going to lie. There we go, guys. Now, I don't know if it's supposed... Yeah, feel free to show all letter. Yeah, so it is a pretty cool uh, little letter. It's very uh, unique, I'll tell you that. And then there's also a uh, card in here, which is funny because last time he sent one, I actually got a card as well. And uh, I think it said the future is now Czech Republic on it again. So maybe the same deck. And if we keep getting them, we get the whole deck if you send 52. I don't know why, but it's kind of funny. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for this, Amig. Um, I feel like I'm not pronouncing your name right, but that's what it is. So thank you so much for this uh, letter going in the fan mail binder. I got a new binder, by the way. It's black now. I, I, I bought it the other day. Uh, so now we've got purple, salmon, and blue now black um so this one's coming in from charlotte i don't know where sc huh it's the u.s so anyways guys we'll just get into it usually if i if i really need to know we'll find out on the thing it's the it's a u.s state anyways um let's see what we got here okay so Ooh, this is cool okay <laughs> okay. Dear Tristan, hi Top Pops, I really like your YouTube channel. I'm 14 and I have 40 Pops and one Chase. You're my favorite YouTuber and your videos really help me with collecting Pops. I really like your how-to Pop Hunt. I really like your how-tos and your Pop Hunt videos because they teach me helpful things I didn't know before. Some questions. Uh, what is your favorite Dorb? Like I said, guys, the uh, six-inch uh, ba Batman one. What is your favorite eight-bit pop? Um, Dig Dug. What kind of dog is Bailey? He's a Shih Tzu. Um, he's four. If anybody's wondering, um, what's your favorite store for pop exclusives? I like the Funko Shop just because they're easy to order them off of, and you usually have to be on there pretty quick. But I'm pretty on top of things for that. Um, but like store. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Um, maybe Hot Topic. I mean, I do go there a lot. Or GameStop is another good one. Um, have you seen the show Young Sheldon? Yes, I have. Um, I've seen every episode. Um, I'm pretty on top of that again. They haven't made too many episodes, so it's not that hard to keep up with it. But yeah, it is a really good one. Uh, P.S. I have a dog named Bailey, and he is a Shih Tzu slash Pekingese. That's cool. So it's pretty much Bailey, except the, for the Pekingese part. Uh, P P uh, with P S. Can I have a signed postcard? Thanks. Um, yeah, I'm working on those still. We have a bunch of them. We've got like over 200 still. So if anybody wants one, um, I've just got to get. I just got to remember who's is who's and sign them and everything. I got to remember where they go. So yeah, for sure. Thank you so much. And then here's his little collection here. Uh, right there. It's a nice little. It's a nice collection actually. It looks pretty good. I like how it's on the Polaroid as well. Um, anyways, thank you so much for this fan mail binder, like usual. Uh, but let's move on to the next one here, guys. I just wanted to uh, say that we are down to three. And then after this, guys, after we're done all of these, I'm going to be doing the Munch Pack with Grandpa. Um, he, he, We already filmed it, technically, so it, it is a pretty good little segment that I want to throw into this video since we got a Munch Pack. So, yeah, so this one's coming in from Ontario. I feel bad when people from Ontario have to send them to the States, but it's just much easier for everyone else. Like, you know, because in the world, I think it's even cheaper to ship it. Actually, to be honest, I think it's cheaper to ship it from Canada to the States anyways. So, I don't think it's that big of a deal. But, um, yeah. Okay. Hi, Top Pops. My name is Jackson. I love your ch I love you. I love your channel. I just got a Sonic with, uh, with the rings. I just got a Sonic with rings Toys R Us exclusive, and it glows in the dark. There's pictures on the back of the letter. I have a somewhat collection. It is made up of two Pops, Sonic and Darth Vader. Cool. Uh, top Pops, if you could please give me a signature. Also, did you know that there is a website called Pop Yourself? You get to make your own pop and whoever you want when you are getting this. I am now 12. I hope you like my note and drawings. I have a small YouTube channel called ProGamer1685. Please give me a shout out. Thank you for reading this. Bye. And then it says Pop YouTube, TP, Funko, I'm Pickle Rick, gotta go fast. And then on the back here, guys, it says Top Pops, uh, YouTube exclusive. And then it's got a little thing there. It's actually pretty cool. There we go, guys, right there. And then on the bottom, it says Good Luck. Oh, I get it. Like, someone's coming to grab me, and then it says Help, and then it says 
good luck at the bottom. Like, this is another character down there. And it's funny. I like it. Thanks. Um, yeah, so it's just always nice getting, like, little letters and stuff like this. So thank you so much for this. Um, yeah, let's move on to the next one. And also, guys, with signatures, um, I gotta remember who's saying what here because it's kind of hard to keep up with it. But um, I think we're pretty on top of it besides last week's, and then we'll do this week's as well when we go next week. So that'll be fun. Um, this one says open on camera. So let's do that for sure. Guys, like, you don't have to write open on camera. We're most likely going to open it on camera. Um, yeah. The only time it won't be on is if it's something really weird. But, um, yeah. Okay, so they gave me their address just for the probably... Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, Hi, Tristan. My name is Rick. I've been watching you from the start. You're a great YouTuber, and you inspired me to create my own pop channel. Each day, I love going to your channel and checking out your amazing content. I've always wanted to make a YouTube channel, and thanks to you, you gave me the confidence to start my own. Awesome. My favorite pop would be Steve from Stranger Things. What is your favorite? Indiana Jones. Uh, my YouTube channel is Hey, It's Rick. Could you please send me your, the, your autograph and the other piece of paper? On the other piece of paper, is there another piece in here? Or is that just the... I'll just send it to you on the, the card. Um, on the other piece of paper. Thanks for reading from Rick. So I do have your address now, which is very helpful. Thank you so much for this. Um, yeah, it's from the United Kingdom, so that's not bad. Um, but yeah, I will for sure work on that. I just got to make sure I keep the address because it's on just a little piece of paper. Um, but we have one more left, and this is the one with something inside of it. And then, guys, stick around for the uh, munch pack at the end. But here it is here, guys. Top Pops, 615 Main Street, P.O. Box 51, Niagara Falls, New York, 14302. If you guys want to send anything, it's always linked in the description. Um... But yeah, let's see what we got here. Okay, so this is kind of funny. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is funny. Okay, I like this. Um, okay, so we have a little something, but I'm not going to show you that till after I'm done reading because why would you show something first? It just says dropping you a line, and then it's got a little fish hook on there, so that's pretty cool. Um, but let's get into the actual thing. It's Okay, oh, so there's a little drawing of Mr. Narwhal, and it says, um, okay, dear... Tristan, hello, I have five pops, Nancy, Harry Potter, Ron, Hermione, and Malfoy. I'm trying to find the regular 11. I've watched almost all of your videos, and my favorite are the pop hunts. I have a YouTube channel, um, Hot Pancake. Please sub, I only have 13 subscribers. So yeah, guys, go check them, go check them out. And then it says, Evelyn, age nine. So yeah, go check her out. Um, then it says, bye, buddy, hope you find your dad, Mr. Narwhal. P.S. The thing here is a homemade action figure of you. So you guys can go check it out there, guys. There's a little Mr. Narwhal right there. And here's the little homemade action figure. It's actually really cool. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's hot glue in there. I think it looks pretty cool. Look, it's got me holding the Mr. Narwhal. We're going to put this in the little bin full of stuff that I like to keep around with you guys that sent stuff like this. It's really cool. Uh, it must have taken a lot of time to do this. Like, seriously, guys, it's just, like, down to the detail. You got little... You got a Top Pops logo on my shirt. You got the... Uh, little Mr. Narwhal there, the pants, the t-shirt. I think it looks amazing. Look at that thing. Huh? Looks just like me. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this segment of the video. Um, next up, we are going to be opening up a munch pack with Grandpa. He doesn't like sour food. He doesn't like hot food. So you guys will see some cool stuff in there, some pretty funny uh, little clips and everything. But anyways, guys, uh, I guess I'm going to end it off here, and I'll see you at the munch pack segment. Okay, guys, now we're in the second segment of the video. We are here with Grandpa. Why don't you say hi to everybody? Hey, everybody. <laughs> and today, we're going to be opening up this munch pack here. Um, we've been I've been saving this one for about, I don't know, a week now. And I've really wanted to open it because I've slowly been eating stuff out of it. Now, I, I, the munch pack, if you're watching, I didn't eat anything. That was too much. I ate this one thing that was like gummy snakes. And you guys can buy them actually at Walgreens if you want. They're called Twin Snakes by uh, Haribo. And um, they're pretty cool, actually. They, they're one sour, one sweet. You wouldn't have liked them anyways. So we're good there. Um, but yeah, so Grandpa's never tried a munch pack before. And I always like to get different people in these. Mom, you're here. Have you ever done one of these with me? No. No. Well, this is good because it's like, this is your um, opening video, ma opening mail video. So that's Yeah, mail. so we actually did get this yeah, in the mail, too. That, Mom's yeah. here. We've got Grandpa. But we're just going to get right into this, guys, like we normally do. And let's just open it up. Okay. So here we go. Okay, so there it is there, guys. Um, see who this was packed by, actually, because, um, Grandpa, if you didn't know, they're all personally packed by people, and then it's got their names on there. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's Francis, right? Yep. Francis. Yeah. And, um, you guys can see you can enter to win a free munch pack. 
just do that those steps there. I hope it'll focus on it. Yeah, we're good. If you guys want to enter to get a free munch pack now, it is also really cool. Munch pack is really cool. yeah. It's really fun because you get snacks from literally everywhere in the world. And they say usually on the back where they're from. I remember when I first started doing these, they didn't. Yeah. And then I started doing videos on them, and then for some reason, like about halfway through, they started doing that. I don't know. And if it's also, if of me. you like something, you yeah. can go online on their website and order just that. Right. Yes. Which if you like it cool. now, if if it's not out of stock though. So, Grandpa, yeah. if you like any of this, we'll order some for you. <laughs> I'm a diabetic. <laughs> so this could, oh yeah, this could be. Uh, no, I think we're good this time. All right, okay, get going. Okay, yeah, let's get into this. So the first thing we have here, I usually like doing the odd stuff first, and then is we get to the better stuff. Grandpa doesn't like spicy. Uh, it doesn't say it is. It says it's more of a. Well, well, I'll show you the packaging here, guys. It is from to. Let me figure this out. A uh, Thailand. Nice. Nice. So there it is there, guys. Um, there's the packaging. <laughs> you don't look too happy with these ones. Yeah. I believe that they're j just chips. It's called fashion food. So, uh, Does it say the flavor? Uh, paprika flavored. Yeah, that won't be, that won't be too hot. <laughs> I, got, I got it. I got it. Anyways. Smell them? That doesn't smell too bad. Mm. Here, take one. <laughs> Tell us what you think. Yeah. What, what do you th they're not too crunchy. They're almost like barbecue. They don't look like I think. No, they're not what you expected. Chips. They're actually they're pretty good. Oh, well, there you go. They, you know what they? They're, they're almost like the texture of pork rinds. You know? Yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah. Haha. Like sort of puffy. Here, guys, let me show you what they look like too, because this isn't probably what you thought they would look like. No. Oh, I can't reach the thing. Anyways, guys, they're not like chips. They're more so. Pork rinds. Do you have to want yeah. One? Do you want another one? Or do you want to keep going? Yeah, one more. What would you give it out of ten, Grandpa? Yeah, I'd, I'd give this one about a six. Because they are kind of spicy on the back end, and I know Grandpa's not going to like that. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're getting more... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you give it out of 10, Dad? Well, maybe a 7. Oh, okay. that's good. Ooh, not bad. Okay, guys, I'm going to be back in a second. The battery's dying. One second. Okay, what's next? It tasted like a Bass Pro. Yeah. <laughs> he got a Bass Pro shot mug. <laughs> um, wait, were you guys there for that video? I don't know if you no, were. No, I don't think we made a video. No, I don't think I filmed that day. Anyways, guys, um, let's go on to the next one here. So we gave these ones a 6 out of 10 for me, a 7 out of 10 for Grandpa. Now, if you do like chips probably more than I do. Yeah, I would Grandpa say, likes chips. I don't know. Chip guy. Uh, let's move on to something that isn't so chippy. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's move on to this here. So this, I can't read because it is in Japanese because it's a product of Japan. It looks kind of neat, though. But to to my knowledge, what it looks like right here is like little chocolate logs, even. But I don't know what's going to be Cookies in them. Cookies dipped yeah. in chocolate. Usually like little graham crackers or stuff. And they do give you big packs of these, too, because this looks like it could be like a full one that you could get at the grocery store. Like if you see these here, like, I don't know, they're kind of, they're different, you know? They try to throw random foods in here, I've noticed. They look like a log. Yeah, let's get right into this, guys. Okay, oh, okay, so... Oh. It's completely wrapped up on the inside. Oh, yeah. This looks like something that you could get in an actual store where it's just opened up like this. Those ones Let's see what we got here. I might take them out. Okay, um... Yeah, I think so. <laughs> like the ones in... Take them out. No, you can't take Oh, oh, I thought you meant the ones in Epcot. <laughs> okay, so... Here we've got them here. Okay, they're not big at all. Here, you want to take one? I know you don't like chocolate too much, but... But you always seem to eat it. <laughs> Here, here's what they look like here, guys. Um, I yeah, said this cute. earlier that they looked like I thought they would look like logs. That's kind of what they look like. Ugh. There we go, guys. It kind of looks like a little stump of a tree, even. With chocolate on it. Yeah. What do you think, Grandpa? You like that? <laughs> it's quite chocolatey. Which is not too bad. What would you give that out of 10? They do give you a lot in here, too. Wow. What do you give that out of 10? Yeah, they're not bad. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Mommy, give me your water. Yeah. Oof. Why? One went down the wrong pipe. Oh, boy. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, what would you give that out of 10? Oh, I guess so. Uh, pretty much the same as the other one. I seven? Yeah. Okay. That's not bad. I mean, seven out of ten is a good number. It's over half. Do you want another one? Do you want another one? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go back to some chips we actually have here. 
Those Vintage good. cheddar and green onion, and these are from England, United Kingdom. Okay. That's, that's England. There we go. There, guys. I know, but it says it's United the flag Kingdom on the top. Yeah, it says United Kingdom on it. So I, I like that they put where they're from now. That's good. Well, most of them actually say right on it. Yeah, yeah. Where but made. um, most of the time, it, it's like if it's in Japanese or Chinese they or something, they'll it, put yeah. another label over top of it like in that. English. You could use this for teaching kids about different food. Yeah, too. you could probably use them much, but as long as there's no food allergies, because I don't think they go to. Mm, that's true. Anyways, Grandpa. So these are white cheddar and green onion. Here, go for it. Mm. Chip, Dad. The oh, chips. Mm. You want one? Mm. Yeah, I know. You don't have to take all of them, no. They, they taste like just more I'm onion. I'm not too much of a... Uh, chip guy? Chip guy. That yeah. is not good. So, I don't want to say anything stupid. So what would you give that out of 10? If you liked chips, Dad. Say, no, no, like be, no, be, no, 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 say an honest opinion No, here. we don't care. Though. Out of mm -hmm. ten, what would you say these are? To me, nine. A, no a nine? That's a really nine. high. Oh, I mean, uh, <laughs> two. A two? Oh, oh okay. That was, okay. A big, that was a big difference. Because you don't really like chips. Which is fine. Right. I mean, seriously. But if you did like chips, probably higher. Um, Tristan, what'd you give it out of 10? Personally, out of 10, it, it, it tasted like a normal chip for me. Like, I don't wouldn't have said, hey, that's some cool thing. Let me go get it again. Like, I would eat it if it was there. So I'd give it maybe a 5 or 6. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. They're probably good chips, though, to be honest. Yeah, they're probably better for you than some yeah. other ones, too. Okay, guys, so we're going to go to these ones here, which we've had these before. They're called maracas. And me and Carl actually ate these in one of our videos. These ones are from, i got to remember. Uh, oh, shoot. I don't see it on here. It's in Spanish, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, product of... I can't. I don't see it, guys. But anyways, it's product of probably Spain or something like that, or Mexico. It doesn't you don't matter. really need to know. It's some Spanish. No. Agreed. Anyways, guys, there they are there. These are actually pretty good. Me and Carl have had these before. Are he said he didn't really like them. They? Well, they're almost like Ritz crackers. Here, I'll take one out so you can have one. They're like Ritz crackers, look. And then on one side of them, they're chocolate, and the other oh, side of them, they're... Okay, it's like a Ritz... Kind of, it's almost like a baby cracker. What are those called? Uh, yeah, um, arrowroot. Arrowroot, yeah. yeah. Hmm. There's not too so much chocolate. No. But that's, uh, I would come up a little bit from the last one. You would? Yeah. I think maybe a six. Hmm, that's better. Not bad. Because I liked this one last time, but I know there's a lot more stuff coming. But I'm going to go just for this. Maybe a seven. Mm -hmm. um, now we're going to do a halfway plug here, guys. If any of you guys want to order a Munch Pack on MunchPack.com, you go to MunchPack.com backslash Top Pops. You will get $3 off your first purchase. I don't normally do this, but I think I forgot about it at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So, Next up, guys, we're going to have this one here. This one, again, I can't read it, but it's product of Japan. Now, I think we've had these before, but in a different flavor. And these ones are almost like, you know, those soda bottles, Mom, you can get where there's a ball on the top of them. And you get them in um, Epcot, and then you push the hole down. You push the ball down in the top, and then the flavor goes into it, and then you I drink it. So, yeah. And they've had those before. I've just never gotten one. This is a candy, though? Yeah, this is that same thing, but a candy, because you can see it on the yeah. actual packaging. That's what it looks like. I don't know how it's going to taste, but the, I, I think we've had these before, and they're like little... Pop bottles? Candy balls, or something like that. Like the ones see. that go in the drink, you know what oh, I mean? Oh, okay. Here, let me see if I can get them out. Ah. Is it like gum? Yeah, here, take one. Oh, they're pretty. Yeah, they're little blue. They're not too special, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like if I would like, if I really liked them, I would remember them. Are like they... a mint. There oh. they are, there, guys. Are they they're like... They're kind of small and just a ball. You chew it, or is it like a gumball, or...? Not yet. They're kind of sour. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> I just broke into it. <laughs> it's sour. <laughs> oh. Grandpa doesn't like sour. <laughs> A lot of people don't like sour. No. Good Bass Pro Shop mug. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not a sponsor. <laughs> um, okay, let's go on to this one now. 
I don't know how Grandpa's gonna like this one. Mini Takis. Now, Takis are normally a bit spicy. Um, let me see where they're made. It's usually just a U.S. thing. Like almost a taco? Ah, product of Mexico. Like a Dorito. -ish. No, you know, like, they're, they're chips, but they're rolled up almost like a, um, a taquito, like you'd get at 7-Eleven. Uh, you know the ones that we get whenever we come over? With the taquitos. Good. Anyways. Crunchy thing. Crunchy. Yeah, but it's gonna be like a chip just rolled up, kind of. But these ones are the mini ones. Now, these are blue flame. Oh. So, uh... I don't know how this is going to go over. So a little tough. piece, maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, they're mini ones anyway, so you just have a little one. But yeah, these ones are product of Mexico. Mm -hmm. Ah. Would well, you like the scissors? Oh, beach to it. Oh, okay, Grandpa. Now, usually they go with color, too, so I want to show you guys one here. Whoa. Oh, be careful, that. Be careful with one. Tiny just, bite. Even if you don't think it's too hot, guys, we're only going to let them have one, because usually uh, the tums come out later on. Is it hot? Yeah. Don't yeah. Eat, don't eat it. Yeah, don't eat it. <laughs> Have a drink. <laughs> are they spicy? You want to try one? No. Ooh. Yeah, have they, a drink. they are hot. Have a drink. Have a drink. <laughs> That's why we brought your drink. And this is why we brought on a new guest today. Mm -hmm. And I also like doing different guests because it's a different palette. Different people like different things. So, did you give a rating to the last thing, the, oh, we, the sour thing? Oh, yeah, we didn't. What do you give these out of 10? Nine. Nine? Nine? You like them? No. So I don't then, like them. And a one. Then a one, then. <laughs> a one. one. Okay, ten is you really, I didn't specify. Yeah, ten is true. you really like it. One is you hated it. Yeah, so one. So, would you give it a one? One. Yeah, okay, now great. how about these new ones here? The these blue flame Takis. What would you give them? What are they? The you know the blue thing. Don't eat another one. Oh no! Yeah, I didn't show you the packaging. Yeah. What do you Very think? Very little. One again. One. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Most of these are probably going to be. one. <laughs> okay. Now this next one we've what got here. What would you here. give the takis? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I give it about a four. I, I I don't hate spicy things, but I like them. I like takis. How in about general. the little um the balls? Right. Um. Six. I like them. They're spicy, but or no, they're sour. sour. But yeah, I like, like sour them. things. Yeah. Okay, hey, now this next one, guys, is a chocolate-covered cocoa cookie bar. So on the inside of this, I think I've actually had these before. Um, this is from Japan. You guys can see it here. Um, Black so thunder, what? It's on the inside of it. It's like a. It's almost like uh, cookies and cream on the inside of it, with chocolate on the outside. So it's Definitely. like you're eating a chocolate-covered Oreo almost. This is what cookies and cream is, really. You don't have to eat a lot of it. Here. <laughs> there you go. Maybe he took the falling piece. Like I know you don't like chocolate too much. Is it like a granola bar? It's supposed to be like mm -hmm. a... Like a granola bar? Not uh, yet. Yeah. Only 200 calories. Not bad. Oh yeah, like almost like fudge it looks like. Well, it's actually cookies and cream. But it don't oh. taste like fudge or... No. What's it taste like? It tastes it's like an Oreo. Bad. Yeah, Sorry. maybe. Cookies. Yeah, like cookies and cream, like I said. They're but. not bad, but they're not... They don't look up like what they taste like. Yeah, I believe no. that. Um, what would you give it out of 10? Personally, for me, out of 10, I give it about a 8. I mean, I like chocolate bars, and I like Oreos. Is there nuts in it? It looks like nuts. Mm. I'd, I'd say that's uh, 7 or 8. Yeah, yeah it's not bad. Hmm. While, he's, while he's finishing that up, I'm going to find the next thing in here. There's only two things left, Grandpa, so what do we got here? This one is... Let me find out where it's from while you're finishing that. Uh, this is from... Doesn't say. It, it just says in. imported by. I don't see the place. Sorry about that, guys. I usually. You want like me to, to look? No, wait, hold on. Under the label, maybe under the sticker, under the back package. Yeah, open it. Hmm. I think it has to say where it's made. Made in Turkey. Turkey. There it is, there, guys. So it's from Turkey. It looks good. Here it is, here, guys. It looks like just chocolate and. Um, Maybe hazelnuts or something on the inside. I don't know. This is something that we've never had before in a bunch pack. So I always do like trying new things. Usually um, we get new things in it, but sometimes you'll get reoccurring ones that are just different flavors and new things like that. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That looks like just what I ate. Yeah, kind of. Does. The other thing. Well, this is probably. Ch I'm gonna say it's chocolate on the inside, yeah. and then maybe some. Looks like a. Maybe it looks fudge. like they just took a giant cake. And, oh, you know what this could be actually. Is the pieces, guys, let me show you. I'm not going to touch the whole thing so that way we don't. 
But oh, the pieces look like they could be yes. almost like graham crackers or something, something like that on the yeah, inside. Yeah, yeah. Here, I'll break off. I I'll think break you'll off. like it. Ah. Ooh. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna think it's a different consistency. It's like fudge almost. Do you know what I mean? It's not hard. No. Well, the other one was hard. It, it looks hard, but it feels yeah. really soft. It melts in your mouth. Oh. Yeah, but it does uh, put you in mind of those square ones. That yeah, the ones had. we just had. Yeah. yeah. Same flavor. What is, they're very chocolatey. But okay, what would you give it, Dad? Yeah, what would you rate this one? Seven. Oh, that's decent. It's not bad. I, I, I'm personally, I'd give it about a, I need six and a half. So Grandpa does not like sour things or no. hot things. Okay, now here's the last thing in here, guys. It's a Drifter Nestle bar. Nes Nestle? 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 Yeah. How do you pronounce that? Nestle. That's always bugged me. It's Nestle. Anyways, guys, there's two that, sides maybe, to it in here. So. From England, maybe Nestle. <coughs> you want your water? I think probably. Yeah. yeah. You want your water? There's Nestle. Or Canadian? Could be Canadian. Um. I don't know where Nestle's from. It's here, though. Made in. Uh, per finger. There's two fingers on it. Mm -hmm. Like a Twix, like a right Twix. Twix. Yeah, Kit Kat. Well, yeah. Um. It doesn't say. Sometimes these ones don't say, I don't think. You know what I mean? Like, they don't... It's just like, yeah, you know you know this brand. I don't know. Yeah, you know what fine. I mean. Anyways, we'll just try it. It doesn't, it doesn't technically matter where they're from. It's just fun. It's more so just trying them. Yeah. But uh, here, we won't eat the whole thing each, because these are kind of big, but... That looks like a granola bar to me. Let me break it in half. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there you go. There you mm. go. So this looks like it could be like a Kit Kat with caramel in it as well. Yeah. Because as I'm looking, it won't focus. As I'm looking at it, guys, the middle of it is kind of like biscuits. Like almost, yeah, like you know what I mean. It's a lot heavier than uh, Kit Kat. Yeah, it feels like there's caramel in it. Dense. Hey, no, how's it going? No, come on in. I didn't hear anything. Okay, so. Because they're eating. Oh. Grandpa, what would you give this out of ten? This one, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. I think three out. Seven. <laughs> He's a tough sell. I like Kit Kats. Hard. I like caramel. I'm gonna give this one a nine. Whoa. Um. You have to show the last item. It's just tea. All right, guys. So we normally have tea in here, and they gave us an apple-ish tea. Um, Munch Pack. If you're watching, I've seen people get energy drinks before. We've never got one. Maybe some of those one time. We always get tea. We always get tea, and we're stacking oh, up no, on tea. Oh no! Wait, we get coffee. Dad we really did. Like the coffee. Right, but guys, um, since we are ending off on this video, Grandpa, what was your favorite thing out of this box? To be honest, uh -huh. that thing I just ate. This yeah. one? Yeah. yeah. The drifter. Probably most like a Bar. thing that he would normally have, right? Yeah. Well, okay, it's his favorite. You can give him a little <laughs> Okay, guys, now, a I know your least favorite, know. though. Yeah, me too. Well, the, the, the blue oh, talkies, yeah. yeah. Give them just a give them all over. Yeah, no, take one. They're and they made your mouth blue. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna say my favorite thing in this box was the um the logs. Blue flame. <laughs> was the log here because it's kind of like it was solid, like, real solid. And it was a little mini cookie inside of chocolate yeah, too, it's so cute too. it's good. They're good. And my least favorite. Mm. Maybe these. Oh, like, grandpa, grandpa likes those. They're good, but they're just kind of there, you know? Oh, and what and about... Peppers? You gave those a higher mark, though, than the chips from England. Oh, right. The English ones were kind of just... They weren't horrible, but they were just kind of chips. Regular. You know yeah, what I mean? They're regular. Just, it's just a chip. Yeah. But overall, I think Grandpa, you did pretty good with this. You're good with hot foods, chocolate, sour foods. Yeah. Not bad. So, if you ever want to be on this again... If anybody ever wants you again, you know, maybe you'll come back. Tell them I'm not available. We do do these once a month, though, so please leave a message after the tiny truck <laughs> backing up. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this no, has been... Thank you for, oh, yeah. the, for the experience, but it's... Uh, they they gotta be different, and they gotta be some better than others. Yeah, well, yeah, of course they want to they want to they want to diversify the box. Also, Grandpa, you just traveled around the world in eighteen minutes. Well, for goodness' sake! 
Okay, guys, so if you ever want to see Grandpa in videos ever again, you're using no. <laughs> Put it in the comment section below. Um, but this has been another episode of Top Pops. Grandpa, you want to say anything before we go? Uh, That's not one not really. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Whoa. 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 Yeah. Whoa. What you call an icon living? Start a record label, Miss Fish just did it. Whoa. Nylon, cover five minutes. Whoa, we are too hot in the business. Whoa.